Hey now everyone, it's Steve Sievers for Bionic Blues. I can't tell you how excited I am to be back at San Diego Comic Con. Before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We appreciate your support. Now, let's go see who we can talk to. Well, I'm very excited for this show. I guess for those who don't know about it, explain about the, uh, the show and then your character too. Okay, so the show is uh, Hamster and Gretel. It's about a brother and sister who, uh, who are visited by aliens who, who tell, tell them the two of you are going to receive superpowers and, uh, and then they shoot them with this ray and unfortunately the, the superpowers go on to Gretel, the little girl, and her hamster who happens to be in the car and Kevin, the older, uh, older brother, gets nothing and so he ends up being sort of the, the guy in the, in the chair with the headphones on telling them where, where to go and what to do and stuff. So, so it's all about that dynamic between the brother and sister. Oh, I play Gretel. And she reminds me a lot of myself when I was younger because I'm a very high energy kid. <laughs> and when I do her voice, what I do is I just like get all smiley and I get really excited and that's how I get the voice to come out. That's very and cool. um, she has a, the older brother, Kevin. Uh, this, it's based on how my dad has a younger sister that's like 10 years younger. And the older brother, Kevin, is like the chauffeur like to this little girl. And I feel like I have an older sister, and I know that once she gets her driver's license, I'm going to make her drive me around places. She's going to have to be your chauffeur. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Uh, I love it. I can't wait to see it. Thanks. All right. So uh, tell us about your characters in the show. Uh, well, so hi, I'm Michael Smito, and I'm playing Kevin in Hamster and Gretel. Um, he's like the older brother of the superhero, Gretel, and uh, her hamster is hamster. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Veronica Hill reporting live on the scene. I'm Liza Koshi. I play Veronica Hill. She's a reporter, and I feel more comfortable holding a mic. So that's why I took yours. Thank you, sir. Okay. All right. So did you, did you do any research going to red carpet, like to do my job for a little bit before? Honestly, yeah. I've been on red carpets, and that I didn't realize I was like doing my own studies for character work. So yeah. No, yo, actually, you're, you're so right because like yeah. you meet with a whole bunch of people. It's like so you told, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So I overheard earlier talk about it. you had to found this fine piece here, and it was at the Rose Bowl Flea. Yes, flea market. Rose Bowl flea market. Uh, this I caught this a while ago. I don't remember the brand, but it's yeah, it's cool. It's like from a, it's like a, a, from Syria. It's like a tablecloth that they made into a fanny pack. That is cool. Love that. That's yeah. really cool, right? That's sustainability. Yeah, look, you know. That's so we are here. So are you both D big, huge Disney fans? I think it's a big deal being on the Disney Channel. Yeah, I, honestly, this has been really, really crazy to just like actually do a Disney show. Like to know that my nephew is gonna watch the show and like have the same kind of relationship that I had with Disney shows and, and, and shows like like cartoons when I was growing up. Like that's so cool. What's your favorite show? <laughs> <laughs> Dragon hey. Ball Z. I love Dragon Ball Z. Cool. I love Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. So yeah. Uh. Oh, it's so, I, I'm stoked. Like, Phineas yeah. and Ferb, I can sing the whole theme song right now. No, okay, 104 days of summer vacation. Like, that yeah. whole song is so, <laughs> it's I, such. I had no idea the lead singer of Blowing for Soup did that song. What? I just found out, like, last Did you know that Dan Povenmire vo voices, uh, voices uh, Schmertz? What? Doofus Wait, you know what? Yeah, no, Dude, yeah, Dan I know. does that. Our minds are collectively blown right now. Yeah. No, so it's just, it's an honor. I was saying, like, he created my childhood, and now I, he's still creating in my adulthood. It's so cool that to be able to, like, awesome. breathe right, life well, into a new show. I can't show. wait to watch your show with my kids, so <laughs> oh. congratulations both of you. Thanks, man. Thanks, Get the Thank day. You. Well, first off, tell us about the concept, the story, and then we'll get into your character, okay? All right, so Hamster and Gretel, it's a superhero show that is actually really about siblings. Um, it's about a big brother who has to take care of his little sister who has superpowers along with her pet hamster. And, you know, what ensues is a lot of comedy, a lot of action, a lot of fun, some music. Um, it's a really fun show with a lot of heart and a lot of jokes and funniness. Out of bunnies. I play the mom called Carolina. She's a Venezuelan who's based on Joanna's, My mom. Joanna's okay. mom. Yes. Uh, she's really smart really funny, but she doesn't know that Hamster and Gretel have powers. No. So I'm just living my normal mom life and I'm asking my kids to like clean up the house and help me with chores and cooking and all that good stuff, but I don't realize they're out like saving the world, so. Yeah, I mean yeah. she thinks she's on top of everything, which she is, except for like the biggest plot point of the show. Of the show. She hasn't noticed. She hasn't yeah. noticed. It'll be cool to find and watch and see little hints that maybe she'll figure out. Down we'll have to watch and find out. You know, you gotta watch and find out. You know, who knows? Who knows? Well, I can't wait to watch it with my kids. Congratulations to both of you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, so first I'll talk about the characters you voice in the show. Yes, hello, I'm Allison. I play Lauren and the Destructress on Hamster and Gretel. And I am one half of the supervillain duo with this 
beautiful human. I am Brock. Yeah. I voice Lyle. I am the fist puncher, and my superpower is super strength punching with my fist. <laughs> uh, I'm, yeah, blunt instrument of chaos. Uh, you know, I think we, we both sort of embody what I would like to say is like the antithesis of uh, Kevin and Gretel. We're siblings. The show's all about siblings and superpowers and what happens when siblings who don't treat each other well or maybe anyone very kindly kind of look like. And I think it's really an important part of the show. Yeah. Uh, I'm a huge Dizzy fan. Are you, is it a big deal for you being on a Dizzy Channel show? Oh my gosh. It is quite a... <laughs> not your first time. It is not my first time. I actually, I believe I am the, the longest employed Disney you Channel did, uh, actor. Did support, right? I did, and yeah. before that, I think 12 or 13 other shows. So this is a really, it's really meaningful mm -hmm. that at least someone over there trusts me to continue right. portraying roles. Uh, but what's unique about this project for me is that I'm notoriously playing the voice of reason and the moral compass and the supportive best friend, and now I'm the super villain. So it's yeah. an entirely oh, see. I'm all down for the dark. Side. Yeah, oh, that's it's a, a different oh, set of skills. And yeah. yeah, what about you? I, for me, I mean, I I have been very lucky that I've been working for Disney. You know, doing a lot of uh, various character voices for all sorts of shows, the, the Disney Junior lineup and some Marvel stuff. Uh, it's a thrill. This has been really special because uh, I, you know, Dan's obviously very musical and we play villains yeah. and there may or may not be some possibility that a villain song might occur that, oh. and so so that's a big possible thing if, if I'm wrong it's hard but you sang on um Doc Stuffins, right? I, I, not Doc Week Stuffins. I did do some singing on some other, some of the other uh, Disney Junior stuff. I do a lot of singing for. Um, I was Disney Santa Claus for the last Mickey Christmas special, oh, and really? I got to do a little. Oh, that was a great special. I got to do a little humming and some stuff on on that, which was super fun. Um, yes, well, uh, it's a very different character. And he's not quite a villain, but it's so fun to be able to be to be bad. And also, you know, he's based on um, my favorite uh, movie villain, Biff Tannen from Back to the Future. Uh, shout out to Tom Wilson. Who's a voice actor. I love you. Um, and we were just like, what if I? I was like, what if we shrunk him down and threw a little of that Valley Girl person thing in? And uh, it's been super fun. He's been Marvel. He did the Wolverine long story yes, short, right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yes, I did. Okay. I worked. Uh, I, I was wrong on the Doc Mc stuff and things, but I got. You're totally wrong. Yes, I, I've been working on Long Story Short. I, I've been Wolverine for that, and I've done some other stuff. Uh, super fun to collaborate with Marvel anytime. Uh, I was Dr. Octopus on some stuff. Uh, it's great. Yeah, I love these characters. I love the fact that we get to create new ones. Yeah, yeah it's right. Well, I can't wait to watch it with my kids. Uh, when does it come out again? Uh, it's August? August 28th. <laughs> Is it August 12th? August 12th. I'm so oh, right. totally right. You're right. Woo! And this is why the Destructress <laughs> why leads running, yeah. the duo. Just let me do this, and I'll get us to the finish line. Ugh, Lyle. Punch! <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Let's pray together. Ready? Yeah. Oh, thank you.